27 portraits for the 27 soldiers fallen in the Gaskinde attack in northern Burkina Faso late September. The youngest were just 23 years old, all buried together, side by side. The nation's grief is matched by its frustration over the former government's inability to protect its people. We are in pain over what happened with the loss of our sons and our little brothers because of insecurity. It's a great pain for us to witness this crowd. But the military aren't the only ones on the front lines. Those they were supposed to protect, civilians driving the trucks carrying supplies to the besieged city of Jibo, were also killed. The government estimates 10 civilian deaths, but the drivers' union believes that number is much higher. They paid their own tribute to the dozens of their colleagues still missing. This man survived the Gaskinde attack. He says he lost his truck, his friends, and a piece of himself that day. We heard shooting. We took refuge under the vehicle, and we realized that they were starting to catch fire. We never found many of our colleagues. We do not know what happened to them. We can't even bury them properly. The government has lost control of 40% of its territory, and incidents like the Gaskinde rage are all too common. The director of the drivers of the Sahel Union says every single convoy has faced some level of attack. Drivers say they've sworn to serve the communities that depend on these convoys for their survival, but they need more protection to keep on going. Authorities must work with us, drivers, because we know the field and the road towards Jibo. We worked there even before the terrorists arrived. Many drivers have already started repairing their trucks, determined to return to those dangerous roads.